the following states in Nigeria account for the overwhelming majority of Nigeria's petroleum production. Pay attention. River State, Aqua Ibom, Delta, Bayelsa, Ido, Imo, Abia State, all of which are part of the states described as part of Biafra. That would have been the end of Nigeria's economy as we know it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the very reason why the federal government of Nigeria had to dedicate more time attacking that movement than other movements that are breathing chaos and terror on the country. Yeah, the oil and gas cannot be tempered with. That is what the Nigerian government is trying to say. But lives can be tempered with. But it's not over, ladies and gentlemen. In Namdi Kanu and his team of lawyers still have the option to appeal in 90 days in court, in the Supreme Court. It is, however, interesting to watch how the Nigerian federal government have been able to stay consistent on this case for the last 10 years in his two arrests and trial, but cannot find the same energy to go after the real everyday terrorists of Nigeria. I mean, think about it. Every day in Nigeria, there are people who have devoted their time and resources to killing civilians, mothers, children, kidnapping and destroying farms, which videos are in circulation all over the place. How is it that those people who want to capture the country to establish their ideology are still walking free men or are sometimes being negotiated with by a man who also tried to break the country in less brutal fashion is behind bars mm. is it because it's easier for the system to put the clamp on him because he is an individual or could it be because he is not as ruthless in his approach like the other groups ladies and gentlemen one group wants to capture the country and establish their ideology and this man wants to break the country in two is it not one in the same thing does it not bother on the sovereignty of the country altogether? Ladies and gentlemen, he may be sentenced today, but I really don't think this is where the story ends. I foresee an appeal coming and the whole case being reopened in the Supreme Court of Nigeria. But most importantly, I foresee something bigger and more radical rise up out of this situation. Something that has the potential to destabilize the fairly peaceful southern part of Nigeria.